Lighting is one of the most important aspects when it comes to filming your videos. Whilst most people look around for a better camera to improve image quality, if you don't use lighting, your videos just are not gonna pop at all. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use some very basic three-point lighting to make your videos pop. Hey there, I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a very cheap, budget-friendly three-point lighting kit to improve your videos and I'm going to show you exactly what each light does and how it looks with each light on and off. So the three-point lighting setup is used everywhere in film and TV and you'll see a lot of YouTubers using it as well. We actually used to use a newer ring light and now we have a double softbox setup and if you want to check out a link to those we're going to put those in the description so you can check those products out but let's jump into it. So our setup is actually very very basic we just use two of these newer soft boxes they're about two feet in height and what I like about these is that if you spin it around uh, you actually get full control over the brightness of the light and you can change the color temperature of the light as well. They use very little power and it makes them very efficient in a small studio setup like ours. Okay now if we move to the set these are our backlights which are also called practical lights and what we use is a few different things. We've got this builder's light, and this just comes from a DIY store. We have this on the floor or on the ceiling, and this creates a nice bit of separation uh, from the subject to the wall. We use these very cheap practical fairy lights, which you can get from Amazon or eBay for a couple of pounds. We actually put a few of those inside this glass head here as well, which is wearing a pair of Studio Series headphones. And then we have some more practical lighting on the left, oh, sorry, right hand side of the set. And these are just some very cheap LED warm bulbs. They give a nice pop to the set and they also create a bit of separation. And then finally, we've got the dream big neon, si uh, neon sign. And I really love this. I just think it adds a real nice touch to the set, to the wall, but it also adds a real nice bit of separation uh, from myself and the camera and the lights. And I think that's really cool. I really like that light. Okay, so this is what it's like in the studio with all the lights off. So the first light we're gonna turn on is the key light. Now, this is the light you should use uh, all the time. If you only have one light, this is the light you wanna use. And what you need to do is you need to set this up at a 45 degree angle, and you'll see it already creates some uh, shadows on the camera left side of me, and it just gives a bit of depth to the shot. So you always want this uh, fairly close to your subject, and that is the key light. So, okay, so that's just with the key light. As you can tell, it's probably a little bit too dramatic, so what you need next is the fill light. So let's switch that on. And you can already see that reduces the amount of shadow on this side of my face. And you'll wanna do that and just adjust it, fine tune it to your liking. You know, you don't wanna completely blow out and uh, get rid of all the shadows. You want the fill light to be slightly dimmer than your key light because you still want a slight bit of shadows. You want, you want that depth in the subject and that's exactly what the fill light will do. Okay, so now we've got the key light, we've got the fill light, and now let's turn on the background lights. Okay, so the background lights are now on and you should already instantly see a nice bit of separation between me and the background wall or the background set. And as mentioned, we use the neon light and that gives off a bit of a kind of green glowing light. And then we use the corner lights, which have a nice red tone to them. And I just think that color combination just really helps you stand out from the background, especially when you're wearing a dark top like this against a gray wall. Otherwise you would just blend straight in. So that is a very basic three point lighting setup. So if you're not quite ready for a three-point setup or you're a bit out of budget, the one light I would maybe recommend you starting with, especially if you're vlogging, is a ring light like this. This is what we actually used in many of our early videos. And essentially what a ring light does, it has lights all the way around. You would pop your camera through here and this will fairly evenly light your face. And one of the benefits of a ring light is that you actually get a nice ring kind of light effect in your eyes. So what we'll do is we'll put this um, next to the camera now, put the camera through it and I'll show you how this would work and we'll turn off the two lights that we're using at the moment. Okay, so we've still got the background lights on. Now let's switch on the ring light. And as you can see, it's quite a powerful light. It is quite bright when you're standing in front of it. But what I like about it, it's great if you're on a budget. It will light up your subject pretty perfectly well. And it's great if you're doing 
pieces to camera like this. If you're just talking directly into the camera and you're not trying to light up an entire set, this is maybe a light to start out with. And it's good to add a little glint in your eye too. So there we go. I hope that video has just helped you understand a little bit more about some basic lighting techniques. And it just goes to show you with a little bit of budget, you can really make your videos pop. So if you've got a channel and you're going to improve your videos now, leave a comment below and I'll check out your channel. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe if you're into video production, editing or anything like that. We do videos all about that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.